Hello developers, today we are going to build an artificial intelligence based fake news detector. By the end of this video, you will have a working detector that you can customize and use in your own project. Today we will be using a popular kit called AI fake news detection one click installer kit. This kit is open source with permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for the hands on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are excited to build your own fake news detection engine. To build it, you would need the following. A data set comprising of sample news articles, a NB pipeline to pre-process these articles. Third, a TF-IDF vectorizer that will help you convert this text into machine understandable form. Fourth, a text classifier like Navebase that will help you classify your news articles as fake or real. Over the next few minutes, we will cover three key aspects in this video. First, download and installation of Kit. Second, a simple coding exercise on creating a word cloud from CSV. And third, demonstration of the working solution. Let's start by installing the Kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the kit here and also check the deployment information here. So let's go ahead and set up this kit. Click this one click installer. This will download a zip file onto your local systems. Go ahead and say extract all. Double click this extracted folder within which you will have a batch file. Double click the batch file, say more info, run anyway. This will start setting up the kit onto your systems. Once all the dependencies are successfully installed, you will see this screen. Go ahead and say yes and your Jupyter notebook will open in front of you. Before we uh, go ahead and discuss this solution source, let's head over to Candy for a simple coding exercise. So here you can see that in the search bar, we can type create a word cloud from CSV. And as we make the search, we will get options for interesting code snippets. Let us copy one of the suitable codes that we would believe that is helpful and we could run it onto our systems for creating a word cloud. So I'll copy the code from here. Go back to my notebook, say new notebook. Paste the code here onto the new notebook. Also, I would see that this has a dependent uh, library for word cloud. So I'll copy paste this uh, so that I can set up my dependency as well for word cloud. And I would need to save my file uh, uh, as a CSV format and you can give it the name, whatever you like. So I've created a words file. I'll go ahead and check out this file. I'll just give it a name words. And this has uh, just a paragraph that I have copied uh, so that we can just randomly test this file. I mean, what the word cloud helps do is it helps you get to the words which are the most frequent within a uh, column or a text, correct? So now I need to read this file in the correct path. So I will copy it from this downloads folder. I'll just copy it into the C drive where I have my fake news detection kit and just say roll V my words 
in the csv format has come here and then i can go back to my code i'll read it in r read format copy this required dependency and my code should be good to run i'll just say control enter and run the code so this is how your word cloud is being created here wherein you see that earth has been a significant word in that paragraph hence it is shown with a greater font size and at the bottom we see we have decreased the font size to say 40 hence we see a smaller word cloud here so this is how you can simply do interesting exercises by searching on to candy.openweaver dot com now let's get to the solution source so in the solution source we see that we have two variables initially one is your input file which is your sample news articles or i would say the data set that we have used to train this model which is under the name fake news dot csv as you check the uh, folder you have your uh, fake news csv file this is your fake news csv file which has some nearly 5000 records then there is your test file which we have used to test whether the model has been successfully trained we have split uh, the training data into 80 percent and the 20 percent remaining we have kept for testing then we have simply created a complete function of this fake news detection and we are importing the detect from it so we are downloading all the requirements and further what we are doing here is this fake news detection we are giving you know this to this function we are giving one parameter which is a sample data set and we are giving it the ratio in which we have divided a data set as we set this function we are then uh, putting it on the detect function so if you want to check out the details of the detect function go back to the kit double click this file so this is the detect uh, file which has all the required imports as well as the steps involved in your fake news detection so first we have this init function wherein we are mentioning your data set as well as the ratio in which we have divided the data set after that we are doing the pre-processing steps which involves your tokenization breaking your sentences into tokens next is your stop word removal where we just want to remove all the words in english language which are stop words and not necessary for your machine to understand third step we are doing the stemming where using the port stammer we are getting to the root form of the word fourth is your vectorization part wherein we are actually converting our data into machine understandable form next is showcase of the results using compute metrics wherein we have used the confusion matrix as the way in which we want to report how our model is performing then within this detect function is where all the steps of your processing are overtaken we are first dropping any duplicates if there are in the data set we are also checking if there are any null values after that we have uh, after we have checked this uh, complete shape of our data we then go to splitting of our data into training and test then we have applied our multinomial naive base algorithm setting the hyperparameter alpha to 0 0.1 then we have saved our model and after successful training we have defined the classification matrix and showcased our data further after uh, doing the training we have checked it with the testing data and labeled it with feature columns and let's go and check on the jupyter notebook results that we get in here 
so we have nearly 4986 rows and two columns after removing duplicates and since there are no null values these are the records that remain further the shape becomes like this 61653 are your uh, transformed uh, words and then once you train the model you are able to get some accuracy of 93% of which 57 and 215 values are in error further we go and check whether the model was able to give a decent test accuracy with our testing accuracy we were able to get 77% of data when we were testing it using the test set so here we have some 45 and 171 values in error after this we go went ahead and tried with a test file which had some six rows and similar tokens to check with so here we see these are some values against defining a news article as fake or real to be able to understand it a little bit more in detail we go ahead and showcase you the test spread file so this test spread file is this was some sex records which we were testing and when the label 0 is uh, being showcased for this news article it is defining it as real with a decent probability of 97% similarly it is defining this news article as fake with a 96% probability so we see that even with this current model that we are working on we were able to achieve a decent accuracy of all mostly all the records having over 90% probability so this is how this fake news detection model is being developed and i hope this was helpful and you were also able to go through the snippet exercise that we did in this session thank you hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the fake news detection kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description below hit that subscribe button and join us at the open weaver community of developers to learn more and to build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye